He said a man in Oakdale called the Mounties about Cap. I repeat, Annabelle Fettel is not a reliable source. Well, why would she turn me in? It only makes things worse for her. Well, maybe it was somebody else. Just not Paul. Oh. <laughs> oh. But listen, poor little rich boy blames his excruciating life on everybody but himself. He still blames me for his mother. Not to mention the Rose murder fiasco. No, he thought he saw a way to get to me. And he took it. And there's just one problem with your little theory, Craig, and that is that Paul did not know that Cabot's adoption was illegal unless you told him yourself, which I seriously doubt. You must talk Dusty out of testifying against me, and the charges get dropped. And in return? In return, I forget that I know anything about you helping the cops have a strong case against Paul Ryan. Or anything about you having an involvement with Annabelle Fettel, black market baby broker. Did that? Oh, no. It's him. You're looking for a scapegoat, Craig. Somebody to blame besides yourself. Listen, Carly. I knew what I did wasn't exactly squeaky clean, but I never knew it was illegal. All right? Paul Ryan caused us to lose that baby. My new son. So you, you smell whatever perfume you want. I'm going to prove he did it. I think maybe you ran away. Oh, hi, Paul. I'm sorry, I was just about to call you. With some good news. You want a decision on the spot about whether I'm calling to BRO? Yeah. You're not gonna make me beg, are you? Okay, fine. You can't see me right now, but I'm begging. I'm on my hands and knees and I'm begging. It's okay. I'm not proud. Just tell me that it's working. You know, um, before I, I make a decision, there's a question that I need to ask you. Shoot. In person. Okay. Lakeview Lounge, 25 minutes. I can't. I, I don't have a sitter. Is there any chance you could come to my place? Did you have anything to do with Rosanna losing her son? Come. Better than that. It's not an accusation. It's an honest question. Oh, and so I'd like an answer. Did you, you mean, have anything to do with Rosanna losing her son? Did I go to Canada and illegally adopt a baby? Oh, no, that was Craig. Oh, or did I lie to Rosanna when she asked me how the adoption could have happened so quickly? Oh, no, 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 that was Greg, too. Or after the baby had been there for a while and Rosanna had fallen in love with Cabot, you think that I was the one who lied to Rosanna when she asked over and over again if there was anything she needed to know about this adoption. You'd be wrong about that, too, Carly, because that, too, was Craig. Okay. I see your point. It's only one person responsible for Rosanna losing Cabin, and that's Craig. The responsibility begins and ends with him. I'm sorry if I offended you yeah, or insulted you. Know, what you? you did insult me a little bit. What Craig did to Rosanna is beyond cruel. And for you to even think that I'm on the same level. Oh, give me a break. You're not exactly a Boy Scout yourself. I was there, Paul, at your wedding to Rose. This has nothing to do with him. No, it doesn't, not directly, but it did show me, and everybody else in this town, for that matter, how far you are willing to go for revenge. Oh, so before you even asked me that question, you had already decided that I was guilty? I didn't say that. Well, I guess it makes sense. I mean, Craig tried to frame me for murder, so naturally, I tried to take his kid away from him. There's only one problem with that thinking. It's... Cabot has a mother, too. And I would never do anything like that to hurt Rosanna. And that's what I thought. I don't even know why you started this conversation. Craig was just here, and he seems convinced that you're the person who told the police about Cabot. He's trying to absolve himself of all guilt. I thought that would be obvious to you. No, it is. But I, I hope you understand, I had to ask. I can see that, that I was wrong, and we don't ever have to discuss it again. <laughs> well, I haven't made up my mind. Money, fame, the opportunity to do whatever work you want to do. What part of that are you not sure about? The part where I have to lie for you. I right, see, I don't look at it like that. You want me to wait around while you squeeze Barbara out of the company. Now, that's not going to happen overnight. 
It may never happen at all. Thank you. It'll happen, Carly. Trust me. You give me some time, Barbara's gonna be crawling to the door, bleeding. You really hate her that much. Now, I know it must sound funny. His son is supposed to love his mother. You know, go out on Sunday, send her for a cruise on her birthday. Something you need to know about me, Carly. I hate her. Because of what she did to Rose? Because of what she did to me. I mean, she smothered me, she strangled me, and told me how much she loved me. I, she's making me feel like, like, there's no way I'm ever gonna be able to make a woman happy. I'm sorry. It's too much. I don't think I can be involved in that. Okay, look, I can guarantee you that you will have nothing to do with my family. All you will have to do is design whatever it is that you want. Really? No input? No, no restrictions. I give you complete artistic freedom. I have faith in you, Carly. You'll come through. You already know I'm interested. But I, I have all that money from Rosanna. Maybe it would be better if I went out on my own, regardless of the hassles. The ha what, are you gonna spend all your time with dealing with advertising and then hiring and firing and marketing? That's what I do for a living, Carly. Believe me. If <laughs> you do that, you're not gonna have a second to even pick up a pen and a sketch pad. I wouldn't be doing it all myself. I'd have a staff. I'd have a personal assistant. Yeah, and in ten years from now, maybe you'd make money, but you'd lose money for the first ten years in a BRO that is already out of the way. All you have to do is be brilliant. And I won't have to deal with Barbara. No, not at all. Um, there's something else that we didn't discuss. Money, whatever it is. You let me know, I'll break my back, make sure you get it. Well, I mean, you're making it very hard to say no. Well, then say yes. Look, this is right for you, Carla. Barbara's had her turn in the spotlight. Now it's your turn. Like I said, you're making it real hard to say no. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that is, that's great. Uh, We're gonna do great things together, Carly. You're not gonna regret this. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna be here for very long, but sure. I need you to tell me the truth about something, Molly. Well, like I said, I'm on my way out. Did Paul Ryan call the Canadian authorities and tell them about Cabot? I don't know. You know, Paul and I aren't friends. He doesn't tell me what he does or doesn't do. I think he might have told you this. Well, Greg, I know that you're hurting over losing your son. But pointing fingers isn't going to bring him back. Yes, you're right. And he's with his mother. Fine, fine, fine. But I have been betrayed, Molly. And I need to know who betrayed me. Well, good luck with that. Can I have my coat? Molly, all around my house, are memories of the son I almost had. There's toys, his favorite blanket. And it's very quiet. No crying, no twinkle, twinkle. I feel for you, Craig. I do. I know. Because you've gone through this, you know what it's like. How empty a house, how empty a heart can feel when children are taken away. It's not the same. Or Jim, shall... Were stolen out of your life. I know you feel that pain. Oh, God. Why are you doing this? Because I need you to help me, Molly. As one grieving parent to another, I need you to tell me the truth about Paul Ryan. Fine, Craig. I didn't lose Bridget and Michelle because I tried some illegal adoption process. I lost Bridget and Michelle because Jake... You went and found your misery. Mine came looking for me. Molly, I thought the adoption was legitimate. All right? Now, all I am saying here is pain is pain. And I think you know what I mean. I can't make it better for you. I know. You're not doing this for me. You're doing this for yourself. How do you figure that? Because I think you told Paul about Cabot. And he used it against me. And that destroyed my family, Molly. 